everyone, welcome back to Tammy Lee TV. I'm Coach Tammy Lee, and today I have a special treat for you. We are going to do a routine that helps strengthen your wrists for cycling. Three exercises I'm going to show you. Very simple to do, and you can do them every day. The first one is a standing wrist curl. So we're going to stand like this, take heavier weights for this one, and you're going to curl inward like that. So we are going to do a couple sets of those, and then we are going to sit down, and I'm going to show you how to do supine curls like this for your wrists. We are going to flip those arms around, and we're going to do some curls like that. You will need a range of dumbbells today. I have some 12 pounds, eights, and fives. I'm going to use an extra ball to sit on while I do the last two curls. So that if you don't have an extra ball, you can have a chair or you can sit on the floor, but you're going to need, if you're sitting on the floor, make sure you have space to be able to do the curls like that. Let's get started with the first exercise. So generally, uh, with something like this, I don't normally put a number of reps on it because depending on the weight you're using, you might have to do a higher rep. You are going to take your hands and you're going to curl them like that. So you're going to take your, bend your wrists inward towards your body and you're just going to repeat that for a number of reps. You are going to slowly uncurl as well. So I'm not dropping my weight down. I'm curling inward and slowly lowering. Everything is under control. Yeah, see, I can feel this building up. It's beginning to build. Oh yeah, already. A couple more. And that's it. Then I'm gonna take a little break. I should be doing those every day. I can feel it more on this forearm right here than I can elsewhere. But other areas is I'm feeling it in my wrist as well, which is when I'm doing wrist curls. <laughs> okay, let's grab those weights and do a second set. Here we go. Again, we're not counting reps, just focusing on how it feels Curling down and up with control and practice bracing your core and keeping your shoulders in neutral position while you're doing this exercise. Feel the intensity building. One more. Great. Now, shake it out, let it rest. Of course, there are other ways you can increase your strength in your forearm and your wrists and your grip, grip strength for cycling, deadlifts, but not everybody has access to a barbell, nor do they have access to that amount of weight to put on the barbell. <laughs> So this is a nice little routine if you don't have access to all of that stuff. Let's do one more. Here we go. Again, you can do this every day. Even if you just picked one of the three exercises we're doing today and you cycled them. One day you did the first one, the second day you did the second one, and so forth, and just cycle through them. Ho oh, ho! And one more rep. Wow. When it starts, when you start to feel that tension build up, wow. Get your chair or your ball or whatever you're using. Next up, we're going to do the supine curls. So up like that and then curl like this. 
Take your weights, take your arms, first of all. You need to put your arms on, rest them on your thighs like this. So your hands are hanging over your knees like so. And then you're going to curl them forward and then down just a little bit under control. And then again, so you're also going to get a stretch out of this as well, a weighted stretch. So down and then back up. And you're probably noticing which arm is stronger than the other. So if you do have an arm or a wrist that is weak, I highly recommend working on that one every day and getting it caught up to the other one. Probably your less your non-dominant arm, my guess is, is gonna be the one that's weaker. <laughs> okay, let's take a break. Shake it out. Let me know in the comments section how your riding is going so far this season. Tonight we're getting snow and it's May the 17th. <laughs> It's May the 17th while I'm recording this video. It's probably not May 17th while you're watching it, but it doesn't matter. It's May 17th, we're getting snow. <laughs> anyway, let's do another set. Get ready. Here we go. When you lower the weight down, be careful not to go the whole, whole weight. Like you don't want to really pull on the, the wrists. Just enough to get that nice range of curl on the way up. So I'm probably only going down about 50%, I would say. And what's really cool is I'm noticing that I can feel this on the, my hands, on the top of my hands as well. One more. If you need to do more, keep going. That's enough for me. So I have an issue with my hands going numb. I know it's, uh, it's probably the whole system here, but I've been to the chiropractor about it. I've been to the physiotherapist about it. it just, I've had all different kinds of grips and different bars. And it seems to go away though after a while on the bike, like after, I'm riding for about an hour. It seems to like taper off. Okay, one more set. Here we go. Two more reps, one more. Wow, perfect, awesome. Okay, take a rest. We're gonna do reverse curls. Take your lighter weights for this one. It is a little weird feeling to do, but it's very beneficial. So you're gonna curl up like this. So you need to keep your elbows close to your side and just keep your from your elbow to your shoulders nice and still and focus on just bringing the arm in the reverse curl like that and then back down okay we're going to do 12 reps of this one all right assume the position here we go one two three probably even looks weird four yeah five six seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Awesome. We'll do one more set of those and that's it for the routine. I hope you enjoyed this and you find it helpful, let me know in the comments section below.
This is a great workout to do in the off season as well when you're not riding your bike because it can help maintain your grip strength. Now when you're riding your bike and you're you're doing a lot of cycling and you're in your season and you're you know doing it often, you do build up good wrist strength on the bike as well. Like that's going to help strengthen your wrists as well. But when you're not on the bike that much and you want to keep those gains or maintain or build, this is great to complement that, to help with that. Okay. Get ready. Here we go. Last set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You really want to go down slowly. Ten. 11, probably could have used a heavier weight, 12, but that's all right. So thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you found this useful and it helps you and you enjoyed this. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and like, and please answer my questions and comment and share some information about yourself. I'd love to learn about your riding and who you are and where you are and so forth and how you're doing. That's it. Stay tuned for more videos coming soon and have a fantastic day and happy riding.